Yeah, it's funny. I'm, I'm coming at this from a, a different angle because my background is, is software engineering. And when you start a company, you have to learn how to sell. And so I'll tell you some of the things that, that work for me, especially in a small business perspective. I think that anything that makes my life a little bit easier where I can implement processes or systems is something that I gravitate towards. So from a sales perspective, um, right now, what I've actually started to do is try to use it to identify valuable responses for social media. So for example, I get a lot of my business from LinkedIn almost exclusively. And part of engaging on LinkedIn is coming up with the right comment or the right value add. You don't want to just hit like on someone's post and leave it at that. And when you do this many times a week, you know, 50 or 100 times, your brain starts to get a little burned out. And so from my perspective, just going on to something like ChatGPT's website and saying, hey, how what's a what's a decent response to something like this can help a lot. I also do a lot of writing and content. And so content generation is also something where if you, you can start to hit writer's block pretty quickly. So from my perspective, a lot of my leads come inbound. And so maybe it's, it's a different use case than maybe the traditional prospecting use case. But from my perspective, being able to build relationships with people where I'm still the one who is going out there, reaching out to them, talking to them, but I'm trying to add value to their, to their posts or to their lives is, is sort of where I'm using AI tools to help. I, I, that being said, you know, I am a builder and I build a lot of automation technologies. And so one of the things that I am looking to do is build apps on top of ChatGPT. And some of these apps are these sort of automated agents, which will connect into my email and do things like maybe help me find the right email from a, two years ago, or help me find the right perspective that I need to send. One of the things that people really ask me to do is build a search engine that goes over all of their internal tools like Slack and email and product documentation so that they can respond to a customer very quickly. So for example, sales guys, this is a tool I'm building now, salespeople might need to respond to their customers very strange and unusual questions in a very short amount of time. And a lot of times what they're doing is they're calling their manager or they're slacking their manager uh, behind the scenes and asking if they can find a particular response. And what I'm doing now is just building bots that help them connect their uh, their product documentation or their support documentation to their existing chat bot so that they can ask the question right away. And then the bot is responsible for, find, for finding the right answer. So it's, it's a long way of me saying when I can add automations to my workflows, my existing workflows to make me more efficient, these are some of the tools that I think salespeople are going to start to incorporate. I think things that make their lives a lot easier, things that help them communicate with their customers a little bit more effectively and efficiently, these are the sorts of things that, that people, especially consultative salespeople, are going to start to use a lot more. And I think you're going to start to see the really great salespeople use these tools to even increase their close rates. And uh, the really good marketers and the prospectors start to increase their open rates for things like cold emails or cold calls. Mm -hmm.